Dr. Kopi is one of the veteran journalists in this country, or veteran reporter, as he would want to call himself. And we have a privilege to hear from him uh, about his interactions with the president. Chris, your last um, Flipside column that you wrote on Informande, you had a glowing uh, commentary about President Hage Kainkop. You also gave him a lot of attributes. Can you tell us in what mood you were when you wrote that uh, column? I, I wrote a lot of tributes to the president over the years. Uh, because at that stage, uh, we all, all knew that his, his health was not the best. He had the, mm -hmm. the heart procedure. And we all knew it. And I thought, you know, to, to put these things in perspective, because Usually, when you have this political infighting, people lose the bigger picture. Bigger picture. And uh, uniquely so in the case of, of Gango. Uh, although it was expected, it was still a great shock. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is everybody knew that he's a fighter, that he will do Pull his best to, to pull it through. Mm -hmm. So that is why it's still a... It's still a shock, and I think what Namibia first should do is to, to ponder a second or two uh, and rally behind the, the wife and his family uh, who lost a father, grandmother, uh, her grandfather. And uh, in, in these dark times, they must surely uh, be able to rely on the high values that Namibians are known for, like empathy, sympathy, generosity, that is the attribute that Gango mm -hmm. displayed. But it was not always public, but it was that was his that was his mainstay. Very responsive, very emphatic and empathyful. This is what I, I want to talk to you about. I mean, you, apart from your professional relationship with President Hage Gengo, you also had some sort of a personal, your relationship was at some personal touch. Can you briefly talk about it? <laughs> Me and Gengo actually had a very bumpy run mm -hmm. since the 89, uh, 435 elections. You must remember he was a director of elections. Mm -hmm. That time we were political, Adversaries. Adversaries, yeah. Uh, the newspaper uh, seen that time was in opposing each other. As, it was not collegial no. media, we mm -hmm. are all mm -hmm. lovey dovey. It was not like that. Mm -hmm. It was rough. It was, a, mm -hmm. it was a, a tough thing because the one guys were seen as communist and liberal, and the others were seen, mm -hmm. being seen as imperialist, kufu. Mm -hmm. Murderers, and I don't know what else. Mm -hmm. But in that election campaign, I already realized that mm -hmm. for us to go to an election as Namibians after the 1 April mm -hmm. disaster, exactly, yeah. and the Mount Echu mm -hmm. uh, peace accord, peace accord. Mm -hmm. I realized that we are all going to stand in one queue okay. and vote. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which party, mm -hmm. and I think that was a great act mm -hmm. of, of, of nation in the beginning. Start of yes. Sorry, and, and we must all remember trust mm -hmm. did not exist because it was destroyed with one April. Mm -hmm. uh, some people remained behind, some other guys went to officials and mm -hmm. All, the, all the, the officials from the South African government left, took all their guns, everything. Swapu came in. Mm -hmm. So there was nothing. They said, okay, this is trust. So trust had to be built from the day after the election. Because mm -hmm. Swapu did not know what we will do, and we did not know what Swapu will do. And so what role did uh, President Gengo play in this uh, respect? Because he was the director of elections, I'm immediately appointed as the chairman of the Constituent Assembly. Mm -hmm. He was that hand that kept the ship steady in the tempest of politics. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you an example. In the Constitutional Committee, there were members 
Katya Vivi was one who did not even wanted to share the constitutional room of that much. <laughs> that is how <laughs> far <laughs> apart they, <laughs> they were. They were. Uh, Idipu was seen as the chief, <laughs> the strategist. Strategist. <laughs> uh, but Gaingo was the guy who kept things calm, and there was, a, there was an incident. So much proposed that Swapu's constitution mm -hmm. be the basis from which the, our constitution must be negotiated. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot in the Swapu constitution mm -hmm. that the PD, uh, the, that time the DTA and mm -hmm. the other parties agreed on. Mm -hmm. So someone proposed that the meeting must be adjourned so that Swapu can consult because they did not expect that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're proposing. Yeah, they did mm -hmm. not expect it. And Cuban then proposed that the 1982 principles, principles yeah. be adopted. Mm -hmm. So everybody was now in a of that. Yeah. <laughs> so they wanted to, to, to adjourn mm -hmm. that small committee. So Gaingob said, no, there's no adjournment. That is the decision and we carry on. Had they adjourned, had he not taken that decisive decision, mm -hmm. we might still have negotiated now, mm -hmm. at this moment. Uh, two or three years ago, uh, we with Gondwana, at Trasco and Gondwana, and for Monday we had a, a reunion of the living constitutional writers. Mm -hmm. Rokoro was there, Nas, uh, Biva, mm -hmm. uh, those guys, mm -hmm. the remaining ones. And everyone, every one of them, mm -hmm said, if it were not for the chairmanship of Hagi, that constitution would have turned out a flop. You also mentioned about the stubbornness in this He was last very stubborn. Column. What did you say about that stubbornness? I think some people misunderstood his stubbornness. Uh, I don't think he was stubborn. I think he was uh, very focused. Mm -hmm. and easily be confused for stubbornness. Mm -hmm. if, if he wanted to achieve something for the greater good, he will stand until he stands alone mm -hmm. and stood alone, but he wants to push it through. There are cases mm -hmm. where he stepped away from a thing. Mm -hmm. There was a famous case of the tax, if you remember, import duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was a bill in front of parliament that the import duties for I office, mm. Nayoma, and his office, he mm. was then prime minister, must be waived. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yes. the, the proposal came from Otto Erigo, the mm -hmm. late Erigo. Mm -hmm. And someone made a remark there in the debate. So Gango mm -hmm. said he's not going to to entertain this. Mm -hmm. The exemption for Nayoma mm -hmm. is in order. Nobody consulted him about his inclusion. Mm -hmm. So he wants that part to be withdrawn now. Mm -hmm. So they withdrew that, that part. From his Just office, to yeah. give you mm -hmm. an idea that he, he was in touch with the mm -hmm. with, with feelings and, and, and what happened. Uh, uh, can we now perhaps talk about the impressions uh, your last meeting with the president and the takeaways from that meeting and when was this meeting? It was the day he left, before he left for America. I saw him in the afternoon, for, before the announcement. Mm -hmm. For his... Uh, before he announced that yeah. they had cancelled. I was with him. I knew it for, for two days, before. For me as a journalist or a reporter, it was very tough. Because I knew the guy from the beginning and I would have not minded to write that story. Mm -hmm. But I realized it's not about us, it's not about the media, it's about him. Mm -hmm. So I did not touch it. So when I, I went to him and his wife told me they are going to release a, a statement in an hour, which they did. Mm -hmm. And I sat with him and I talked to him. and. The president was really disappointed in the diagnosis. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, time is not on our side. Yeah. 
Therefore, I should thank you for, for no your willingness to, uh, to give us yes, the Yes, no problem at all. I understand. Mm -hmm. It will be a hectic day. Mm -hmm. I wish all of you at NBC, uh, all the reporters, all the cameramen, it will be tough on you. I wish you the best. Mm -hmm. That was Chris Yokubi, a veteran journalist and an editor that we had.